So let's do it. Let's get our ham hock into the instant pot and get it cooked so we can then make our soup in time for lunch. So here's how I cut and store the ham hock to use in various recipes in the week or to freeze. And I'd like to say I do this on purpose, but actually what I do is I begin by seeing what I can slice off it. And I'm a terrible carver, but I try and slice what I can and we'll use those in sandwiches. One of our favourites is to do a poppy seed bagel with mayo and mustard, tomatoes, lettuce and little Swedish pickles. That's really delicious. So I slice what I can because we're always looking for stuff to use for sandwiches. And then I keep some of the more chunky bits so a little bit too thick for a sandwich for us anyway um, and I'll use those when we want the ham to be quite substantial so maybe it's on the side of a kind of breakfast with eggs or maybe served with some fish or scallops and then if I want to use this for something else of course I can make it smaller 
So then I have some diced and this is where I want the hams to still have a shape and be present in the recipe like in this lovely lentil and ham hock soup. So I still want to see the pieces. So finally I've just got all these little bits and I use these really like a seasoning in a way. I might toss them through a salad to give it more flavour. I might do a leek gratin and add some ham to that. I might add some in a frittata or in a stew. So you can use these in all kinds of different ways, these little bits. So don't throw them away. Even though they look grizzly, they bring an enormous amount of flavour to your foods. And if you think about anything that bacon goes with, you'll find that ham hock works really well too. So it's really nice with white fish and what I do when I've cooked a big ham hock like this is that I might not want to have it all week I'll get sick of it so I'll take some of the ham hock and I'll freeze it and then what I'll do is if I'm having a stew or a soup I can just at the very end just before serving and just drop it in the soup and it will really lift any soup or stew that feels like it's just lacking a little something so I hope that gives you some ideas for how to use the ham hock if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and that helps me keep going and if you've got ideas for future videos let me know in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. <music>